Hey guys, I'm gonna take you through another vegan day of eating and to get started before any of you guys think I'm wearing makeup We have to do a little bit of a makeup check because this isn't makeup guys This is what a plant-based diet does for your skin See no makeup so the first thing I love doing every day is getting started with some lemon water. If you guys haven't tried this, it's amazing. It's so cleansing and alkalizing. Uh, at least that's what my homeopathic doctor told me. Uh, I mean, aren't lemons acidic? And you know, my dentist was saying uh, my tooth enamel hasn't been doing so well since I've been on this vegan diet, but uh, what does he know? Oh my God, it's so refreshing. I love this diet. So I love exercising in the morning. I feel like I'm burning off uh, all the excess carbs and, and you know, food from the night before, just really, kind of improves my mood and gets me energized for the rest of the day. But uh, we need to fuel our bodies for intense workouts. And the best way to do that is with carbs and particularly carbs that humans are meant to eat like fruit. And here I have two liters of orange juice, but uh, this orange juice isn't that sweet. So what I like to do is I like to add raw natural cane sugar. And don't let anyone ever tell you sugar is bad for you especially natural sugar. There's nothing wrong with natural sugar. I mean, it all gets sent to the liver and has to be processed as glucose and fructose, but uh, since you're getting uh, you know, a little bit of vitamin C in with all the sugar, uh, it's, it's perfectly fine. So uh, I'm gonna take this uh, out on my run with me and uh, I'll see you guys back for breakfast. I just got back from my run and I am starving. So I'm gonna show you guys my favorite morning shake, how to get so many nutrients in your body as well as energy. So uh, all we need is bananas, dates, flaxseed, and kale. So this might seem like a lot of bananas, but this is our meal. And I like adding a few dates uh, for more energies, just some natural, high quality sugars. You know, we're getting so much potassium, so many micronutrients, so much energy from the shake. And uh, then I like to add some ice uh, because I'm always craving ice as I'm anemic from my vegan diet. Uh, just in case this shake uh, was looking a little good, uh, we gotta add some kale. Uh, not only to ruin the taste, but what we wanna do is we wanna add a bunch of oxalates and uh, goitrogens uh, to inhibit some nutrient absorption as well as ruin the taste of the shake. So uh, be sure to load your shake up with some kale. I almost forgot, don't forget your flax seeds for omega-3. All right guys, I'm gonna go enjoy this shake that's about half the size of my torso and I'll see you guys for my next meal. The nice thing about flax seeds is that they're so cheap, uh, I can use them to feed the birds outside too. Usually uh, when I'm drinking my morning shake, whatever I'm doing, I'll sit outside, I'll, you know, I'll feed some to the birds. So I finished my shake and while I was editing some videos, uh, I got a little hungry. So I just wanna show you guys a quick and easy snack that's delicious, it's healthy for you. Uh, it's these natural dates, just really good fiber, uh, small amounts of minerals, micronutrients, and here I have some uh, natural raw cashew butter uh, that I got. So all I do is I dip the date in the butter and it's delicious. I mean, I have, you know, pure dried sugar and inflammatory omega-6 fats. What could be better as a snack? Guys, one thing I love about a vegan diet is how natural and delicious everything is. Uh, so it's been about an hour and I'm gonna show you guys my favorite bowl. Uh, we're gonna have some oats. So here I just have some some rolled oats, organic from Whole Foods. And I'm gonna add some milk. And uh, not, not regular milk, I mean 
unless you're into that, but I'm I'm plant based. I don't I don't eat cow's milk. I use coconut milk. So uh, just some coconut milk. And uh, now I I mean this is delicious, but I I love adding just a little bit of maple syrup for some sweetness. Natural sugars, they're good for you. Uh, just some vanilla extract uh, because I can't stand the taste of this food. And just a tiny bit of cinnamon. And to top it off, just some flaxseed for more omega 3s. Look at that, guys. It's almost as beautiful as I am. I'm gonna go feed this to my horse, Buckwheat, outside. I'm so hungry, guys. I was like hangry almost. I was like, I need to eat something. So uh, I have some uh, toast here, some natural organic white bread. And uh, this is an avocado that I had flown in from halfway across the world uh, because it's better for the environment than a cow eating grass in my backyard. And guys, I love avocados so much. I, I only add just a little bit of black pepper, just a little bit. And then just so, a little bit of salt. And then it's delicious, guys. It's amazing. See, guys, how good does that look? Oh, man, take a look at that. Do you guys want that? And this is the bread I use, guys. It's organic. Um, it only has uh, wheat flour, water, cane sugar, soybean oil, organic molasses, cultured wheat, organic wheat bran, organic potato flour, enzymes, ascorbic acid, citric acid, organic soy lecithin. See, all organic. It's amazing for you. Oh, and if you want to add turmeric to this, uh, it's great because you have black pepper on it and black pepper helps activate the turmeric, which is an amazing cancer fighter. Okay guys, I'm starving. I couldn't wait for dinner. I feel like I've eaten nothing all day. And uh, we're gonna have some pasta for dinner. I love pasta. Just like I love eating smoothie bowls and sugar and desserts. And I feel like I'm eating like a kid again. I really love this diet. So I just wanna make a quick pasta sauce. It's really easy, it's really natural, it's super amazing. So first, you just need some cashew butter that requires uh, a grinder and a mortar because uh, the seeds are so hard to grind that it takes uh, thousands and thousands of man hours to engineer a machine that can actually grind the nuts into something edible. So now we have this cashew butter. And to that cashew butter, we just need a few ingredients. So just a little bit of salt, just a tiny bit of maple syrup to sweeten it up, you know, get those healthy natural sugars in for energy. A tiny bit of granulated garlic. A tiny bit of onion powder. And some Italian seasoning. And that's it guys. It's, it's delicious, it's easy, it's quick, it's simple, and if you're vegan and you don't add garlic and onion powder to every single recipe you're doing, you're doing it wrong. Oh, I almost forgot. Don't forget to add some liquid coconut aminos to add some more sweetness. That's it, guys. That's my amazing pasta sauce recipe. If you guys want to see how this pasta meal turned out, subscribe and check my Instagram story later today. Hey guys, this is one of my many workouts of the day and ever since I've been a vegan, my bowel movements are so smooth. I just have like five to six amazingly smooth bowel movements per day and it just goes to show how good my digestion is and I mean almost everything is coming out the way it came in so uh, I mean doesn't, doesn't, isn't that a good thing? And uh, my farts don't smell at all. I mean, I might fart like a, a lot more than I used to, but I don't really think they smell. They smell good. So I usually spend, you know, I mean, maybe like 30, 45 minutes, but I, I think it's a good thing. You know, throughout the day, I get to catch up on my emails on my phone. I get to kind of like sit in the squat position, work on some, uh, you know, pelvic muscles. 
I think overall, being a vegan and with the amount of bowel movements we have and the amount of time we spend in the bathroom, on the toilet, in the kitchen, uh, you know, we're working muscles that we, you know, we're so sedentary now that we're working muscles that usually don't get worked. Uh, I think it's a big part about uh, getting back to our natural selves. I actually, uh, I started my own compost in my backyard because I had so much extra, you know, fecal matter. I was like, well, this is all going to waste, so why not grow some vegetables? And I've actually been able to supply uh, the entire New York tri-state area with enough manure uh, for about three years in just two months of being a vegan. I was about to go to bed, but I need chocolate. And I have this organic dark chocolate, 57% uh, cacao uh, from Whole Foods, 100% organic, 100% natural, uh, only has uh, 50 grams of sugar uh, per bar. So uh, not, nothing too crazy. Uh, I'm just gonna have some of this uh, before I go to bed. And I think it's well-deserved after a long day of vegan dieting. So I've been tracking all my nutrients in chronometer and even though I don't seem to be digesting this food at all, on paper, I'm getting all the vitamins and minerals I need. I mean, even if I eat flax seeds and they come out as flax seeds, uh, I'm definitely getting my omega-3s in, right? So uh, thank you guys so much for watching. Uh, please hit the subscribe button below uh, if you guys would like to support me because I spent $100 on these plant foods. I don't know how people can afford to eat this way every day. It's completely ridiculous. But... Uh, you guys enjoy the rest of your week.